Hey, welcome back to the lab, y'all. Today, we're making calcium acetate. So what we need for our project is some 10% acetic acid. Note that the normal vinegar is half the concentration, so you will need to double the amount. And we will also need some ordinary chalk. But we would need to break it into a fine powder. So I put it in a plastic bag and smashed it with my hammer a few little times. And now we'll pour the chalk power in a beaker. Next up, we take a bigger beaker and add 150 milliliters of vinegar. And for the next step, we should gradually pour chalk powder into the acid. But I made a little mistake. It quickly overflowed and I had to throw the bubbles in the sink, along with some of the mixture. But it's okay because I will add vinegar later on in the process. So what's happening is that when carbonate reacts with acetic acid, an acid carbonate reaction occurs. This produces calcium acetate water and carbon dioxide gas which is why bubbling happens and now after it reacted it turned into a brown dirty color which i don't like so we will just filter it into a clear liquid i've passed it through some paper towels but you can use coffee filter for better result and now we got a clear liquid with a yellow tint it's now a solution of acetic acid water and the calcium acetate we want to extract but it's mostly water that we need to evaporate. So we're now going to put it on a hot plate and heat it. Now it became a white paste, that's actually the calcium acetate we want. So we will scoop it out with a spoon and onto a dish to dry the remaining moisture off. So this is three days later, it became dry and I crushed it to make a white powder. Although this is pretty pure, but it still has some impurities from the chalk. But it's pure enough for most projects where it'll need it. And now I will need to store it. And I chose this container which I labeled it, and put the calcium acetate in for later use. Our total yield is 20g, which is pretty good. 